What a week here in Augusta at Westlake Country Club for the 2017 Georgia Amateur Championship. We have our champion Justin Connolly. Hear from him right now and check out some highlights from the week. From McDonough, the leader of the tournament, Justin Connolly. Play away, sir. With a crowded leaderboard throughout the week, it was Justin Connolly of McDonough who entered the final round with a one-stroke lead. So I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I tried to get as far, like, get my mind as far away from golf as I could. Uh, we went and ate dinner, uh, had some good pizza. We watched the movie Bench Warmers. So we were just, just three guys trying to have a good time. With three and a half inches of rain the previous night, the team at Westlake Country Club had the course looking perfect by the morning. It's, it's been an outstanding experience. It's fun to watch uh, watch this many good players compete on your golf course. Um, you know, the tournament setup, the course setup, I think was, was exceptional this week. You know, the players that really hit good golf shots and, and playing their way around the golf course really were able to score and take advantage of some of the holes out there. So overall, it's been just a wonderful experience. Connolly had a simple approach throughout the week that kept him hungry for more. My mindset this whole week was to play like I'm even far. And because when you play like you're even far, you're satisfied with even far, but you're not, like I, that's not where I want to end up. I always want to get one more. And so I kind of took that mentality all week. It came down to a battle between Connolly and Connor Coffey, and both put on a show. Having a guy like that chasing me is really cool because I know that well, I'm, I'm in, surrounded by good company and great players. Um, but having a guy chasing me like that, it just, it kind of pushed me to really keep up. We had a great group. Nathan was an, uh, from Georgia State, an un, an, another unbelievable player. Um, it was so it was really cool having those three guys, like us three, in the same group together. With a two-stroke lead heading into the 18th hole, Connolly seemed to have it locked up, but Coffee nearly holed one last shot. I think my head fell into my face. Like just, I just fell straight down. It didn't shock me at all because he got up and down for some crazy spots today, and I knew that's not out of his arm. With the final score of 17 under par, 267, Connolly sets the record as the lowest score in the history of the Story Championship. I had no idea. That's so cool. I mean, he said Russell Henley had it before. Like I said, I mean, there's so many people. There's Alan Doyle, Robert Trent Jones, Russell Henley. I, to, be, to be even mentioned in that company is, it's unreal. With his family unable to attend, Connolly is looking forward to celebrating this historic win. Dad's in Scotland, Mom's in South Bend, Indiana with my little brother and grandfather. He's got a tennis tournament up there. Um, so I wish they could have been here to see it. Mom, Dad, we got it done. Uh, but it's, I know that when we get, when I, as soon as I leave here, we'll grab some lunch and we'll FaceTime them and it'll be just like they're there. Thanks so much to Westlake Country Club, to the membership, and to all our volunteers for making it such a great championship. We'll see you at the next one.